We are actually looking for passionate Singaporeans who are interested in issues of national concerns, issues around their community. People who are passionate about the challenges we face and people who want to play an active part in seeking solutions. So why do we start with a transport issue? Because it's something topical. Uh, much has been talked about it in recent days and recent months. Uh, we want to bring together the young people to hear their views, not just on what they see are the challenges, but at the same time, we want to hear what are their ideas that they may have that can uh, help take the country forward. Uh, because this is a very diverse group of people. You have people from the professional areas like the doctors and the lawyers. You have people from the civic organizations. You have people from the private sector, the public sector, and so forth. So we hope that in this uh, diverse mix of people, they will also throw up new and innovative ideas to help uh, us manage some of the challenges going forward. What do we hope to achieve from this and after this? If there are good ideas that are implementable, I think we will refer it back to the respective ministry so that you will add to the pool of ideas that the ministry can work with. On the other hand, we also hope that there will be many of these young people that will step forward and in their own ways contribute to part of the solutioning. For example, just now as I was walking through the train and listening to them discuss the ideas, so they were talking about how can we manage the expectations, how can we manage the mood when people are queuing up so that it's a more enjoyable experience. Now, some of these ideas may not require the ministries to act on it. Some of these ideas may actually require uh, the people, we all as a community, to act upon it. And some of them are excited to take leadership and try to start projects to interest people in uh, this area of work. So these are all very good uh, examples of how we see passionate young people coming forward with their ideas, not just to give ideas, but also to act on some of those ideas that they have uh, suggested to see whether it works or it doesn't work down here. Going forward, we hope to have such sessions once every month or once every two months. We hope that it's not just organised by the National Youth Council, we also hope that the people who are here today, they will also take on leadership to organize sessions for their own peers. For example, some people who I met just now, they are working at the Changi Airport. So it would be very interesting one day if they go to Changi Airport and find out how Changi Airport works behind the scene. How do we get the planes going up and down on time? How do we get the baggage in and out safely and so forth? When we organize something like that, uh, it may not be just an NYC-initiated effort. It might be a group of people, a group of passionate young professionals working in the airline industry, working in the Changi Airport and so forth, coming together to organize these sessions and then inviting other people to come and find out about the challenges that they have. So through this whole process, we want to groom a generation of leaders that are not just well-versed in their own respective domains. We also want a group of leaders that can understand the challenges across different domains because my firm belief is that in time to come, many of them will go on to take on leadership position for our country. And we hope that when they go on and take on leadership position for our country, they have the, not only the depth of experience in their respective domains, they will also have the breadth of perspective from different domains, not just in the professional areas, but also in civic uh, areas, in uh, non-profit areas, and so on and so forth, so that the ideas will enrich each other. Right? Can I ask what will happen to the feedback that is gathered from sessions such as these? Yeah. So as I said just now, uh, some of the good ideas that we have, will be uh, channeled to the respective agencies for them to think about it. And we have agencies uh, who are involved in this particular area of work. Like, for example, today, we have people from the Ministry of Transport, and I'm sure they are actively going around to listen to the ideas that uh, the members may have about what they can do or do better. And I'm sure they will take back some of these ideas and see whether they are implementable. Uh, on the other hand, I think for those who want to play an active part in the solution seeking, they will also be welcome to join the resource panels or groups that the Ministry of Transport or the LTA might be forming in order to gather more ideas from the public, the private and the other sectors that goes beyond transport now and then. So we hope that there's always a cross-fertilization of ideas across different domains so that we will all be enriched. Because our challenges are quite unique later as I will share with them. Some of our transport challenges are quite unique to us as a, both a country and a city. 
And some of these ideas, we have to look for solutions that may be a bit unorthodox, a bit unconventional compared to what other countries may be able to do. Uh, but in this whole process, we hope to learn from others, but we hope to distill those lessons that can be applicable to our own context. Can you share with us a bit on what the unique challenges are? <laughs> <laughs> I will share with them later. When uh, Are you going to stay back for that session? Is oh, it yeah. open for coverage? Uh, you can sit in. You are a young, active, dynamic, passionate Singaporean. So, of course, I welcome you to come and sit through. But it, it's true. I mean, I welcome you to sit through because later, as we talk about all the challenges, both from the micro and the macro perspective, then we hope to have a shared uh, perspective of what these challenges are. Just now, one of you asked me, um, you know, uh, what do we want to do from do with all these ideas and what do we, we expect this diverse group of people to have? It's because the challenges are quite diverse. But if each and every one of us go about in our respective ways to try and resolve the issues, we may not get the whole complete answer. But if all of us share the same common perspective, from the same common perspective, we can then go forth and seek diverse solutions, test out those diverse solutions to see what works best for our country. We must be bold. We cannot just uh, adapt solutions from other countries because the circumstances may be different. So we must be prepared to try something different uh, we must be prepared to test out those new ideas and see whether it works on or not, right? So this yeah. is a series of dialogues, yeah. uh, starting with this one. Yeah. How, how willing do you think mm. the Land Transport Authority, SMRT, and other maybe future places where you have a dialogue, hospitals, yeah. health system, right. how willing do you think these organizations are to take on young people? To, oh, suggestions. Uh, I've spoken to many of the CEOs, uh, business leaders, uh, corporate leaders uh, just now as I was uh, walking through the train. I think all of them are excited by this opportunity to share with our young people some of the challenges. And for them, I mean, it's really uh, 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 something that they can, a platform which they can also gather uh, views, ideas from the young people free of charge, right? So there's this a healthy flow of uh, information both ways. When they partner NYC or the SNEF to organize <coughs> some of these sessions, I think the employers and the corporate leaders benefit from the ability to share with a wider audience their challenges. The young people benefit from the ability to see something that they may not see every day, just like today, coming into the MRT depot to have a learning journey, to have a behind the scene view of how uh, MRT depot works. It benefits them, it enriches their perspective. So at the end of the day, I think it's a win-win situation for everyone. Uh, even if we have no uh, idea that can immediately fix all the problems that we face today, the fact that we can all walk away from this with a common language of the common understanding of our challenges, I think that's invaluable. Because sometimes with a common understanding, as we move along, we may have new ideas along the way. And that will be invaluable to us sometime down the road. The other thing is that there is a very valuable network of uh, connections being established because today, when I get to know you, I may not have a specific problem that I want to solve uh, with your expertise. But who knows, one day I may have to dial 1-800, call a friend, you know. <laughs> and I will, your expertise, your experiences will come in relevant and then together we can work together to solve uh, challenges that we may be facing together. So would you say that it's more important that this, uh, these dialogues are for young mm. Singaporeans to be able to understand the challenges that Singapore faces along the different ways mm. more than um, in terms of getting new ideas that could be implemented uh, straight away? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a continuum of the same process. The first part must be that we all share a common understanding of what are those challenges are. Having that common understanding, then we can go forth to look for solutions in as diverse uh, area as possible. Then having that divergence to look for, having after, after that divergence uh, of I, what I call ideas generation, then we must have a mechanism to converge some of those ideas, to test out those ideas, and then to implement the best ideas that work. So to me, understanding is the first step in the whole entire journey. After understanding is what I call the divergence phase, to seek different ideas, different solutions from very unorthodox uh, <coughs> angles. And then finally, the third step is to find that convergence. Then we can bring, uh, ten, we can take the country forward. If we miss out of any of these steps, then it's actually very difficult. If we don't have a common understanding, then everybody go on a wagus chase to look for ideas which may or may not address some of the challenges. Or if you don't have that divergence of uh, ideas, then you might converge on an idea very quickly which might be suboptimal in the long term. On the other hand, if you 
have an understanding, you have a divergence of ideas, but you don't have a mechanism to bring all these ideas together, then again, we don't have a solution going forward. So to me, these three steps are common to any uh, problem seeking, uh, problem, uh, solution seeking uh, process that we have to work on. Okay. So you said the two steps to follow the same supposed to understand? Yes. Okay. For understand, not just to understand one perspective, but to understand each other's perspective. So when I was, sorry, when I was walking through the train just now, you see, different people take public transport, private transport, and different modes of transport. They all have different perspectives on the transport challenges. But if I only take public transport and I only want to resolve the public transport challenges from the say the train or the bus perspective then it is but one perspective but later when we have the session we'll try to put all these pieces together between bus rail taxis private transport how does this whole system come together work together and what are the considerations that we must balance across the different domains then I think we have a more complete and holistic solution is the government also looking to draw its next generation of political leaders from this group? Uh, we will draw uh, political leaders from all walks of life, from everywhere. Uh, some of them might come from this group. There will be many opportunities from in many other platforms that we would like to draw our leaders for the in uh, draw leaders from a di- very diverse uh, background. What we want, as I have always said, is not we are not here to identify a leader or two. We are here to make sure that we have a community of leaders, which is why this tremendous effort to allow us to share with our next generation the challenges that we face, at the same time to get them involved. So it will, the challenges of Singapore, the challenges for Singapore going in the future is too complex for one person or two person or even a few persons coming together to solve the problem. You need a whole team of people. And what is interesting is that just by walking through the train, having people from uh, the private people and the public sector coming together, you have very, very different perspectives on how to manage some of these challenges. And all those perspectives are valuable to us because you cannot solve an issue just by looking at it from our perspective or one or two other people's perspective. We need to understand what are the concerns and the challenges that other people may have and then together we can look for those uh, solutions. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.